My dear friends, uh, everyone talks about the journey, but it was Rabbi Larry Kushner who once taught me that when you think about it, divine moments also happen when one thing ends and another begins. A baby is born. A child becomes bat mitzvah. A teen graduates high school. A bride and groom become one. A loved one dies. One enters a room. One leaves a room. Like great music, it's the space between the notes or when a verse ends and the bridge begins or when there's no loud noise, just silence. Even then, divine moments happen. So for all the focus in this week's Torah portion on the Ten Commandments, with the lightning and thunder like an IMAX movie assault on the senses, what follows not only this week but in the Torah portions ahead are not big things like honoring parents or not stealing. Instead, they're going to be nitty-gritty details after leaving Mount Sinai, boring starts and finishes in building the original ark, tabernacle, Mishkan. Seems like a huge letdown after all the excitement at Mount Sinai, but most days are not Mount Sinai. Yet, divine moments are still there in the spaces in between, in the random person who enters your life when you weren't planning to meet. That is where the divine moments happen. Not on Mount Moriah, and I don't just mean in Jerusalem or in Memphis, but on Mulberry Street on King Day this past Monday at the National Civil Rights Museum, where human beings who were total strangers, kids and adults of all colors and creeds, united in love and action. And that reminded me of a rabbinic quote Rick and I once discussed many years ago. What was the rabbinic quote? Human beings are God's language. What does that mean? What does it mean, human beings are God's language? Just as a relative or friend can be a source of strength, faith, and conscience to share your smile or your tears. That's also who and what God is. God is not only the conscience reminding us to look out the window. God is more like a mirror, and we can become reflections of what a human being created in God's image, as I said, can not only be, but become. Alyssa and Ella just sang Rick's new melody to Psalm 19 so beautifully. And so many of you know that in translation from our reform musical tradition. If I said, you're like, really? You ready? Let's do this. Whether you're 86 or 16, we're going to sing that psalm they just sang so beautifully translated. Don't be shy. You ready? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Pay attention. My rock and my redeemer. Ah. That's the reform. Jewish musical legacy. Human beings are God's language means that just as God is called a rock, a source of strength, conscience, faith, so too can humans in the form of a friend, relative, even a loved one who's no longer with us physically can still be with us always. Perhaps the best way to end my message tonight on divine moments 
away from the scene at Mount Sinai on this musical Shabbat is not with the spoken word, but with the song reflective of this theology that human beings really can be just like God when you've got a person's back like a shadow. You could become like a rock to lean on for strength and faith. Those are the divine moments, too, when we're alone or we're afraid. So after sharing this song early on with a few of us, I'm talking over 10 years ago, uh, a rabbi asked Rick, is this song about God or is it about people? Both, Rick answered. Both. Just as God can be our rock and strength and conscience, restore our faith, inspire smiles as we bear the tears, so can the people in our lives, whether it's a child, parent, spouse, or friend. My friends, in one sentence, human beings are God's language. This song reminds us, for the people who really count are with you always, just as God is with us always. Sometimes you call to me Alone and afraid Sometimes you call to me With no words to say Sometimes you shout out And you run out And you look back See if I can and Sometimes you tremble In the darkness And you ask me If I'll always be there I will be your rock I will be your strength I will be your conscience I will be your faith I will be your smile, I will be your tears, I will be the shadow, the shadow behind you, always it always reminds if you, go, I will go, I will always be you rise to heights far beyond my dreams you never realize you inspire me sometimes I reach out to help you but you pull back and try on your But you never alone. I will be your rock, you sing it. I will be your rock of strength. I will be your sin conscience. I will be your conscience. I will be your smile and tears. I will be your smile. I will be your tears. I will be the shadow. Shadow. I 
Always be there.